What's up beautiful people? It's your girl Chrissy Mack and I'm back with another video. In today's video guys, even though I'm smiling, I'm definitely in a lot of pain. And I wish I would have vlogged more throughout this experience, but due to that, I just wasn't feeling good, right? I was just not feeling good, I'm feeling crummy and I didn't wanna pick up my phone, I didn't wanna do anything. I was just like, I know my community needs me, but I was really having a hard time in this hospital. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over exactly what I've been going through, what's been going on with me, because everybody's been messaging me and wanting to know what's going on, especially if you guys are following me on Facebook and Instagram. So if you guys know anyone that could benefit from these types of you know kidney videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Take a moment and hit subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell for all the best kidney related advice and to be notified when I post every Sunday and Wednesday. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so I have not been feeling good for the last couple of days, like excruciating pain, back pain, abdominal pain. And, you know, I thought it was just like, you know, my menstrual cycle, you know, just women's problems, right? And it got worse and it got worse and to the point where I landed in the ER. So I came into the emergency room. Um, they reviewed my chart. Some things they said to me, I was kind of, you know, shocked because I didn't know was on my chart. Um, nothing to detrimental but still can be a factor so there were many things that we were looking at um two of the biggest culprits i would say was am i going into a kidney rejection right my creatinine numbers were increasing this week and so my doctors were already concerned and everybody was saying biopsy time so i'm like oh gosh please let's not go poking at the bot you know at the kidney let's double check let's make sure well, then it went up again in the same week. And they're like, okay, something's going on. But I already had told myself that I was going to the emergency room because I wasn't feeling well. And so we came in, we also talked about appendicitis. Like, could it be that? Could something be going on? And, you know, everybody's just trying to figure out what's going on. Could it be something else? Um, we just didn't really truly know. Um, we did a CT scan while I was here in the hospital. And the CT scan showed a couple of things, obviously inflammation, all types of stuff is going on. You know, one doctor says, hey, this is it. One doctor says, no, I think it's this. So pretty much like we weren't really 100%. So what we did come to conclusion is that it is not appendicitis because I would have been getting worse and I'm actually doing better. So there was no need to go ahead and you know dig up in that so we left that alone now it comes down to my kidneys and then they were talking about endometriosis which was something new to me and i said okay so which one really is it what's going on so the kidney doctors they're very like on top of it they do not want to miss a beat they do not want to let me go into rejection, but you have to remember, I got up a program um, a little bit a month, over a month ago, and I'm still in that stage where they need to like watch me very carefully to make sure that I'm not going into rejection because you know, when you switch off, they just have to really monitor you really well. And so that's what we did. They monitored me, um, they noticed it, and they started like just running and making whatever adjustments that may need to be made and we have just come to the conclusion that we are going to wait my numbers have decreased so that made them feel a little bit better but they still want to see so what we're going to do is we're going to wait and we're going to repeat you know the blood work labs everything in a couple of days in a couple of days if that changes slightly she already said she's going to do a biopsy because it could be a slight rejection going on and we don't know and that is a scary part for me right because I've been through so much already with dialysis transplant the donor being my brother that's stress alone okay guys 
and just knowing what dialysis felt like and not wanting to go back there again. It is tough. I don't want to ever experience that. And I know the kidney is not mine and anything can happen. But it's only been a year and it's been COVID and I did not get to enjoy my year. So I have a lot to live for. I have little kids and I just, I'm not even thinking about that. I'm trying to stay positive. Now, I also have to go see an OB, let them, you know, check out, make sure what's going on. Um, they gave me some files, some paperwork, some scans so they can look at and just kind of double check. So everybody's going to go do their part this week. And we're going to come together and figure out what's what. But I know that my pain has improved now that my cycle is over. So we're not too sure, right? Um, this is all up in the air. Uh, what else did we do? What else did we do? Did we do any other testings? No, they just kind of looked at old testings from the past. They said that kidney um, looks a little thick, which my brother was a, you know, thick person at one time so it's like a little petite person with this kidney that kind of bulges a little bit but it's fine it's healthy it's working and that's all that matters to me right and so I'm so thankful for my brother so thank you V I appreciate it um but other than that oh my gosh guys let me tell you my experience so story time so I get to the hospital and there's no beds. Like everything is being done from the waiting room, you know, taking you to testing, doing, setting you up, doing everything's being done. So they're like, okay, we're gonna take you back to your room. You guys will not believe what my room looks like. Literally, my room was a piece of the hallway. Like I was in the hallway, you guys, literally sitting in the hallway in one of these beds in the hallway. Sorry, guys, my lips are really chapped. And so I sat there for, until like two o'clock in the morning until they could finally get me a room. This is my room, not too shabby, I would say. They put me up nicely. Um, where am I? I don't know where I'm at exactly in the hospital, but they put me up really nicely and I can't complain. But that was really odd to me because I've never experienced anything like that, especially because it's COVID time and I know a lot has changed and I have not been to the hospital. so. It was a little bit like, ooh, you know, scary. Have my mask, don't get it twisted. Yes, I'm talking to you guys, but I have my mask. I put this on as soon as somebody comes in. I make them wash their hands. I make them, you know, you just never know. So I asked one of the doctors and their um, students, hey, can you go wash your hands? Like, they're like, oh, well we did outside. I didn't see that. I got a lot of shit going on. I told her, I don't need any other issues. So I would like if you could please just wash your hands. Like the sink is like right there. You know, I felt like they had a little attitude about it, but you know, I don't care. It's my health. I take control of my health. And so they did. They about, you know, obliged. And they, they did. And do you know that one of the, doc I think she's a doctor, I would say, teachers. She put her foot on my damn counter and thought I didn't see. And I saw that shit and I was so livid. It made my blood pressure go up. It messed me up for the whole evening because I'm like in a time of COVID, yes, you may have forgot like, oh my gosh, what did I just do? But you should not have done that. Like, why didn't you just bend down and fix your shoe? Like, I didn't need to see you put your whole foot on my countertop. That was like the worst part of this experience for me, I would say. And my nurse was so livid. She was so upset that that happened to me. She had to go clean down the counters, wipe down everything, and you know, sanitize. But other than that, you know, everybody's been great. All the other doctors and nurses and just everybody caring for me. And you know, obviously I'm getting my food. The food was on time, food was decent, still hospital food, but it was decent. And the sucky part is that my husband couldn't come in here with me. So I never been in a hospital before. If you guys look back on old videos, any hospital videos you've seen, my husband was with me all the time. Like we are inseparable. This time we couldn't be together and that was pretty tough for us. And so now I'm actually getting out. I'm discharged. I have my papers and my husband is coming to get me. But I said, oh no, I can't leave this hospital and not document it. I wasn't going to. I really wasn't going to because I was just overwhelmed. But I, you know, I, 
want to do this for the community so much that's how much i care about you guys and this is why i do this so regardless of my pain and my situation i still show up and i still do what i have to do because somebody needs to see my videos somebody is watching me somebody's looking for hope and I always tell you guys that I wanna be that resource for you guys. And so I wanted to come on and tell you guys that keep me in your prayers. I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know if I'm going into rejection. I don't know what the issue is. And hopefully within a week, I can get some answers of why I'm having some severe you know, abdominal pains, especially when I lay down. Because the other night I had to sleep sitting up in a chair and that is very uncomfortable. So I just wanted to come on and just give you guys, tell you guys what's been going on, you know, and chat with you guys because you guys are like friends and family. And so, you know, if you guys have ever experienced any kind of slight rejection, comment below. Let me know in the comments, you know, how did you handle that? What did your team do for you? Because I'm always curious. I'm always learning, right? I'm not an expert. Just because I went through dialysis and I had a kidney transplant, that doesn't mean I know everything because there's people ask me questions all the time and I tell you. I don't know because I don't and if I don't I just don't and people appreciate that I'm real I'm honest and I try to give my opinion when I can and that's about it guys so I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed because my husband is coming to get me and I'm ready to go home to see my beautiful children and spend some quality time as a family and get some sleep because I didn't get any sleep so far all right, guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook at Chrissy Mac. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and join the family. Otherwise, guys, I love and I appreciate you guys. And thank you for all the DMs for you guys that have been following my stories on Instagram and on Facebook. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.